So, Cloud, you were a soldier first class, right? Yeah. Weird. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. Oh. Wow. Uh. Your eyes. Hey YouTube, what is going on? It is Dez here and welcome to chapter 9, part 1 of our comprehensive Final Fantasy playthrough. Guys, um, just first off, straight out the bat there, I do want to let you know that this chapter, chapter 9, The Town That Never Sleeps, has been split up to be into two episodes. Just because of how long it is, I don't want to have four or five hour long episodes. I think that'll just be too much. So we're just going to break that up into two bits, uh, just to make things a bit easier. In terms of trophies for this one, uh, there isn't anything you really need to look out for in the section that I play through just yet, but in the next part two, there will be a few trophies that you can get. Uh, another one to keep in mind of is if you didn't do it in the last episode in chapter eight, Budding Bodyguard, is the Summon Slayer trophy, which is just wanting to defeat a summon in battle. And you can do that through Chadley doing the VR missions. They're opened up in chapter eight when you're in the in the uh in the uh reactor fly slums. Uh so that'll be able to walk you through it. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward following along the storyline, um, collecting items as you go. I've been collecting CDs as I go to make my life a little bit easier. So without further ado, let's jump on into it. You can see the sky. They're still working on the new plate. I don't like this part of Midgar. Back when they were still building Midgar, there was an accident and the plate fell. People had only just started moving in, so there weren't a lot living there at the time. And that's? The underside of Sector 6, Wall Market. A real special place. But I'm sure you already knew that, right? I didn't tell you? I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. Don't know much about this place, or any of the slums. Well, it took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all needed to blow off steam. So some traders built an entertainment district. Inns, shops, bars, the works. Folks started pouring in from all over. Business was booming, money was flowing, which attracted the attention of some guys who didn't much care for the law. And now there isn't any. Right. But instead of trying to solve the problem, the government decided to just wall it in. And that's how Wall Market began. Out of sight, out of mind, as the old saying goes. For the folks in charge, there's no better way to deal with it. So it's like a giant veil. Yeah. Wanna see what's behind it? Not really. That's good. Because I know a better way to get to Sector 7. One that, tragically, doesn't go through Wall Market. And it's just through this tunnel here. At least it was, back when I was a kid. It's been like this, you know, ever since the plate fell. And there's no other way? It'll be an adventure.
What's that? A big arm. Kinda cute, don't you think? Uh... I'll hop on and you give me a ride. You serious? Absolutely. I'll throw down the ladder for you to climb up after.
I wonder if someone blocked it off because of all the monsters that kept showing up. Pretty dangerous place for kids to play. Raised in the slums, remember? You're tough. Hmm, that's supposed to be a compliment? Try to stay behind me. That way I can see back. Call the knife. Go on. Looks like a dead end. I bet you can grab that container with the arm. Not half bad. So do you moonlight as a crane operator or something? 
Yeah? So tough. Lucky for me, you'll make this easier. Yes, ma'am. Well then, I'm gonna head down. Okay, Cloud! Ready! Not too fast, okay? Got it.
Anybody around? Guess it's just us. Hmm. It's still warm. Should we relight it? Have our own campfire? I need to get back. Besides... Looky here, boys! Caught us some burglars! Coming into our homes and stealing our shit? Doing crimes? <laughs> I'd say we're owed compensatory damages! <laughs> Cap a minute! Composite! I don't get it! How stupid can you be? It's crazy simple! <laughs> compensatory damages is like... Uh, it's like... Compensation? For damages! Oh, yeah! <laughs> That's what you get when you... Uh, when somebody else... We uh, haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, we were just passing through. Oh, a likely story. <laughs> okay, what do you want? Nothing but our due recompense. That's all. <laughs> due recompense! Due recompense! Due, due recompense? <laughs> no, shit, for brains. Due recompense. It's like, uh... uh it's like, uh... Compensatory damages! Oh, of course! So damages recompense! I can't <laughs> I think we've heard enough. being a soldier that is, is random you don't have to tell me if you don't want to oh. um did you have any soldier friends any war buddies no not really oh okay
stupid ladders, always out of reach. Okay, Cloud, heading down. You're in charge of the arm, got it?
Gotcha. for you in a sec. Well, sure did. <laughs> huh? Huh? Wait a minute. Did you just? Nope. Don't worry. We'll be on the same page next time. What are you talking about? I'm sorry. Okay. Gate to Sector 7. Looks shut. 
How do we open it? More importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No. I don't have time Up for... there looks nice. <sighs> Come on! You know, a long time ago, I used to sell flowers here. Oh, yeah? Soldier first class, right? Yeah. Weird. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. <sighs> What's his name? I probably know him. Because of the Mako. All soldiers have them. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I'm bumming you out. We should go. <sighs> Gotta look forward, not back. Take long. <sighs> Ready. <sighs> Want to get to Sector Seven in style? This is the passageway for you. Okay, getting home? And if I said I wasn't? I'll go with you. I thought you needed to get back. <sighs> Don't worry. I have a backup route for emergencies, and it's safer too. <laughs> Guess this is it then. Ready? Yeah. everything later but now I'm on my way to see Don Corneo you should head back to seventh heaven meet up with the gang but I'll be fine you've seen how much ass I can kick I have <laughs> yeah yeah oh no you don't you're going after her. She's a big girl. She can handle the likes of him. And worse. 
Uh-uh. You don't know Corneo. It doesn't matter how strong or smart you think you are. He'll find a way to turn it against you. And where is she going to meet him? A mansion filled with his goons. Come on. Aren't you worried what might happen in there? You have to help her. Come on! Okay. Come on, Cloud! We gotta hurry! Hey there, where are you headed? You gave a ride to a girl earlier. Do you have any idea where she went? No, and if you don't need a ride, then get the hell out of here. Can't you see I'm trying to work? Can't say I can, no. What'd you say to me, you little... <laughs> What's all the ruckus out here? Hmm. I don't know you. What's your story? We're looking for a girl who took one of your carriages. Can you help us find her? Depends. What do you want with this girl here? Guess. We want to save... Save her from a life without this handsome guy. Huh? So, that's how it is, huh? Well, I get a lot of customers. Hard to keep track of them all. This girl, what's she look like? Well... She's a great fighter. I'm not sure that helps. Wait a minute. You talking about Tifa? That's her. <laughs> oh, looks like someone's got a bit of a crush. Hate to break your heart, kid, but it's gonna be a long while before she sees the light of day again. What do you mean? She's a real pretty girl. Corneo's hosting another audition, and Tifa was chosen as a candidate. An audition for what? For the title of the next Mrs. Corneo. She's what he likes all rolled into one sweet package. Having scouted girls for so long, I know his taste better than my own. And considering those tastes, I can guarantee you this. She won't be walking out of that mansion anytime soon. If at all. So where can we find this Don Corneo? <laughs> what are you asking for? Thinking of raising holy hell or something? Do what you gotta, but leave me out of it. I told you what you want to know. Now take a walk. Uh, and there goes our best lead yet. <laughs> Maybe we'll have better luck in town. Let's check it out. Newbie, this delivery isn't due for inspection. Huh? 
These ones addressed to Don Corneo? Yes, idiot. Those ones. Welcome to Wall Market, the pleasure capital of Midgar that's got everything for everybody. Couple, huh? It's all good. Play together, do your own thing, earn a little stretch on the side even. Whatever you're into, we got you. Got a special one-time limited offer. No, thank you. Come on, Cloud. Let's go. I think this is what they say to me. Hold it. Best to steer clear of this alley. You may not like the people you find down here, and they may not like you. Mm. We're cool, though. Just blowing off. We're not up to anything. Honest. We just want a second away. This alley is like a sanctuary for us. You should Hold see it. it in the daytime. Best to steer clear of this alley. You may not like We're the cool, people though. you find down here. Just blowing here. off. Work is all but we stock other stuff too. Wherever my research leads me, but the success of my endeavors rests entirely upon you. Your assistance would be much appreciated. Cloud! 
I have come up with the most fascinating theory. Perhaps you can lend me your assistance in gathering data to test it? Cloud, I've registered a new summons battle intel request. Please, take a look. I need you to defeat the summon entity so I can complete the materia. I hope you will continue to help me gather vital information for my research. Then I invite you to ready your portable battle simulator.
What a shame. It was a close match. However, I did manage to obtain valuable data, analyze and learn from your mistakes, so that you can claim victory next time. Then I invite you to ready your portable battle simulator.
Let me teach him a lesson. One more shot! How shocking! Enough. Cloud, this is incontrovertible proof that the universe has a sense of humor. Now that you have a fun new partner in Fat Chocobo, you can work together to squash Shinra like a bug. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. Monster. Hey, I'm talking to you. I said they're good. Welcome to Wall Market's premier weapon shop. Do come again. Huh. That old dude in the vacant lot next to the inn? That's the owner's brother? Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
Get out. Uh... I think we might have found our man, and he's a gaudy one. Yeah. Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Walmart, kid. Yeah? So? So people can't just walk through the Dunn's front door. Especially men. How about me, then? Can I go inside? Maybe. But you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kinda cute! Homely, but cute. Excuse you? Kinda cute's not gonna cut it. Come on, can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud, requesting permission to kill. Denied. <sighs> if you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're gonna need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam. And then there's Madame M over at the massage parlor. 
Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. Aerith, you sure about this? If you've got any better ideas... Not really. So that's the way it is. Hmm? Tifa's been invited into the Don's estate. Huh? But to earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval of one of the trio. Right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. Stay strong, Tifa! Help is on the way! Johnny's coming, baby! <laughs> Not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Nope. You wait out here, okay? And why would I do that? No, I'm coming with. I'm not really sure that... You're a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. Good evening. Oh. Hey, uh. Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market, the Honeybee Inn. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? Uh, we're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honeybee Inn. Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh, we don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required, and the earliest available slot is three years from now. Three years?! All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes. Well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare. But Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry, but there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well, let's try someone else. I know why you're here. Uh, here we go again. Think you're too good for my fun? One more! For you, uh. you, you, stupid, stupid, stupid! Crawl into a hole and die! Not you two again. Told you once, I'll tell you a thousand times. Got nothing for you. Now scram! Wait, here's out. You're one of the trio, right? I want you to get me into the audition. Huh? Pretty, please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. Next time will be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Already recommended Tifa. 
And she's got this in the bag. How can you be so sure Corneo will pick Tifa? You never know, he might pick me. Damn, you really do want in, don't you? Sure do. Then how's about we play for it? Call it, Missy. Heads or tails? Guess right, and I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> Guess wrong, and you'll leave me in peace. Heads. Tails, you lose. Hey, don't look so glum. You're a pretty enough gal. Just not quite Corneo's cup of tea. But if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. That's why it's a trio, and not just the Mio. Now skedaddle. Wait. Mind if I see that coin of yours? Coin. I had a hunch. That's cheating! And that's the wall market way. Lesson learned. Still cheating. Something downright wrong. Oh, shit. Sweet Adam Welcome, welcome. Just the two of you? Step right up. Now then, what manner of massage do you desire? Say what? Is this your first time in our establishment? Mm hmm. We are a hand massage parlor. An excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain. It is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension. <laughs> and what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don Cook. Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. Uh. Ugh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services, then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Well... Hmm... Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me! The strong, firm hands of a fighter, yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. Okay, Cloud. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course will it be? your way to the room in the back and wait. Cloud? Well then, it should go without saying that you get what you pay for. All four fingers at once, quick and to the point. <clears throat> Little rough. Hmm? They can stop at any time if it's too much to handle. <laughs> 
Try flexing the muscles. You'll feel the difference. Hmm? Loose and limber. Am I right? Actually, yeah. Hmm. How was it? It's all right, I guess. What are you doing? Flexing. Flexing. Uh, never mind. Hm. Think you'll make a habit of it? Then, I think I've seen everything I need to see. So, tell me what you want, and we'll take it from there. You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. And why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm? Okay. Really? But... You cannot go dress like that. Huh? I could never send Carneo a candidate wearing such a plain-looking getup. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? It's all right, I guess. <laughs> oh, you. Look, just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So... What should I do about the outfit? <laughs> you just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million gil. So long as you can afford it. How much? What I said. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen, I have an idea. Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Up for a fight, Cloud? Good, because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, I'll transform Aerith into a drop-dead gorgeous beauty. Is there any prize money? <laughs> yes, for the person who got you in. So, what do you say? All right. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry, run along. Into. Nothing good. I wouldn't expect a fair fight in this town. Think we can win it all? That's one thing I'm definitely sure of. I appreciate the confidence, just don't get too cocky, okay? How do you like a piping hot bun? The doors are now open for tonight's please enter from the right and contend from the left. Fashion. No pushing. Wall market really is one hell of a town. Isn't it? I'm sure my son Johnny learned a lot of lessons about life right here. The hard way, of course. Oh, my beautiful boy. As your father and as someone who's been where you are, I look forward to seeing the man you become. You remember to bring your sword to rest. You can't do that. You can't What's this? You're here to compete? <laughs> I hope you know you're cutting it really close. So, the two of you are a team? Team? No, it's just me. Yes, the two of us are a team. I need to get into that audition, but I won't let anyone else fight my battles for me. That includes you, mister. All right, team it is. Head to the waiting area down below. Down, down, down we go. So how deep does this thing go, you think? I wonder how many people are fighting. Hey, you're not nervous, are you? Nope. Really? You're even more quiet than usual. Just trying to focus. 
but you should. Hey, lovebirds, over here! In the city that never sleeps, in the paradise of debauchery and sin, the pain and pleasure, where your every desire can be indulged for the right price. All market. For you as Dean, kind of towards the chaos and bloodshed, we bid you the warmest of welcomes. Are you sitting comfortably? Or tonight, the most gruesome spectacle anywhere in Walmart or beyond shall be yours to witness here in the Corneo Coliseum! Tonight's grand prize is no less than one million gil, and there's only one way to get it. Brutalize your opponents, thoroughly and utterly, viciously, without mercy, until they vomit blood. Only the most ruthless fighters, the savages still standing here at the end, shall claim the gil and the glory. And now, the long-awaited adventure with the blood star beast will battle for your amusement in the corner! Warriors of every shape and size will fight to the death before your very eyes. And tonight, Corneo Time! Wow, this place is really something. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you again. Ouch, what happened to your face? I just needed a little scratch, you know. So I signed up for the preliminaries and, well, I hope you guys realize what you're getting into. I don't want to scare you, but if you can make a run for it, you should. Cloud and Aaron, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. We're in way too deep to back out now. It's a gift from Don Corneo. Drink it, and they say you'll be raring to go for hours on end. If I had, maybe things would have gone differently for me. Maybe you should. It's yours if you want. How is it? It's thick. But you like it so much you couldn't possibly share, right? You two ready? Try not to get yourselves killed. For our next batch, 
we welcome two fighters, a young couple no less. Talk about a bad day! This is their first tournament, the bad first date, and most likely their last, inexperienced as they are. Or are they? Give it up for Cloud and Eric! Woo! One of Walmart's own, a renowned master of beasts. Will his pet make a meal of our two challengers? The power of their eyes! They've already been given their appetizers! Their hunger for flesh and fear is unquenchable. The demon dogs of hell, the Sanguine Stalker! Animals? Oh. First timers, huh? There's no rule that says you gotta fight man to man. We're in for a treat, ladies and gentlemen. Who will prevail in this brutal contest between man and beast? This could be over in an instant, so don't even blink. Without further ado, the fourth match of the first round begins now! You <laughs> Contenders, please return to your waiting room. Well, that's one win down. Go team! Mm. What's wrong? The rules don't make sense. Yeah, true. But maybe it'll be better in the next match? Nah, wouldn't bet on it. Better to expect the worst. Cloud and Aerith, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. That's what they call beginner's luck. But the next match won't be so easy. Ready to rock? Just remember, try not to die. For the second match in our spectacular semifinals, fresh from their first date with death, I present the Lucky Couple! We're like unlucky for the rest of us! Give it up once again for Cloud and Eren! Couple my ass! What the hell you two try to pull? You assholes cost me a fortune! Yeah, yeah! Their opponents, screamers in the street, yeah. thieves and killers through and through! Too criminal for common criminals, the worst of the worst! Ladies and gentlemen, check your pockets, because they may have already robbed you blind! The most contemptible sons of bitches inside of Walmart market, Bex Benefit! Desserts taste like... Like justice! <laughs> <laughs> 
did give him a massage, you know. His palm told quite the tale. He's cheated death more than a few times. Hmm. So have half the people in this town. Anyway, we're both still alive. Call it. <sighs> there you go again. One of these days, your luck is going to run out. When I fall from grace, Maybe I'll land in your parlor once more. <clears throat> that is one mistake I will never repeat. <laughs> you gotta admit, Andy, the way he moves is totally amazing! Andy! <sighs> Next up, the big finale. Yeah. I thought you'd be happier. Just thinking about what we might face next. But you know, we've made it this far. I'm sure we can handle anything they throw at us. Cloud and Aerith. The final match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate.
Man, you proved me wrong. You guys are pretty good. It's the final match. You good to go? I've got a lot of money riding on you two. Win it for me. Ladies and gentlemen, our time together is almost over. Tonight's thrilling tornado cup, filled with unprecedented upsets and drama, has only one match to go! <laughs> we know. We're just as disappointed as you are. But ladies and gentlemen, all good things must come to an end. So let's celebrate by getting so damn loud, they'll hear us up on the plane! Yeah! Come on! Once more, the sweethearts who've surprised us with upset after spectacular upset. The power couple with the boundless love for bloodshed. The champions of Madame M, Cloud, and Eric! Executioners, Chocobo Sands Champions, Cuddy and Sweepy! Come on! Robots? More like Shinra armor. More like cheating! <laughs> Who will walk away with the one million kill prize? Get ready for a fight guaranteed to go down in history! The, the final match of the Corneo Cup begins now! That was close. Taken this rather well. I was looking forward to a little temper tantrum. When you bet it all on a toss, sometimes you get burned by Lady Luck. Every coin has two sides. You're right, of course, even if they are both the same. <laughs> Later. And now. I believe I have a prize to collect. Sorry. The madam will have to wait. The Don's demanding that we tack on one more match, it seems. What? If they win out, then you get paid in full. Now hold on just a goddamn minute! His call, not mine. <laughs> now that that's over, we can go save Tifa. So we'll head back to Madame M's, get you changed, and then it's off to Corneo's. Right. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but you still have one fight left. What do you mean? The crowd loved your show a little too much. People are placing hefty bets, much heftier than you can possibly imagine. Corneo's going to milk this for as much as he can. Meaning what? 
You face and defeat Corneo's fighter of choice, and only then will you be declared winners of the tournament. Hey, that wasn't the deal. Don't you think I know that? Ah! You greedy bastard, scum-sucking piece of shit festering asshole! Uh... <sighs> but that's the way it is. Corneo's the one who makes the rules around here. But if you win this match, Corneo will have to accept your victory. And the crowd will make sure he does. So this is the last one? <laughs> I sure hope so. Watching you guys fight gave me goosebumps. Hope your next match is even better than the last. Ready to kick ass? It's not even about the money anymore, man. I just want you guys to win it all. Show them what you got. Tonight's Corneo Cup has been a spectacle like no other. And we share your disappointment, ladies and gentlemen when we told you that it was coming to an end. But nobody felt it more keenly than one time Corneo, who has decided that a bonus match is in order. Participating in this match will be this evening's leading lights, the dynamic duo that has crossed all competition thus far, Cloud and Aaron. An unspeakable horror, long in prison, set free tonight for your entertainment! The secret star of Don Cuneo's stellar stable! Enter the Hell House! Oh, 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 oh,
Get him back out! Let's go. A miraculous escape from our courageous contender! But from the looks of it, they had a pretty wild time in there! A heroic move by Eric has to provide support for her partner. Even that healing wind. Let it wash over you, restore you inside and out. We're calling fire. Where do these chairs come from? Who do they belong to? Who needs all those chairs? I have so many questions. in some way. What will you do? <laughs> Alright! What do you think, guys? So, we uh, continued through the Sector 7 slums uh, and we've made it to War Market, where obviously Don Corneo is holding Tifa captive in some sort of way. 
Uh, we've been making our way through. Uh, we took on some pretty awesome fight scenes there um, in the uh, Corneo Coliseum, which was really cool. Uh, had a lot of fun doing those fights. It was an absolute blast. We also got the Fat Chocobo Materia as well, which I thought was quite enjoyable as well. Guys, let me know what you thought in the comments section below. If you're not subscribed already, please feel free to hit that hit that icon in the bottom right hand corner and press the bell icon to get notifications for when we put out other videos. That's it from me today, guys. We'll be putting up another video over the next week or so, so keep a lookout for it. But until then, happy gaming. Take care, guys.